Hi guys, Nasty here. We are back with another account review. This time it's the account of Mark Wind. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Let's just call you Mark. And yeah, Mark asked me to do a general account review for lots of different content. I hope I can help here and there. So I think we should start with the golems, maybe some titan teams, and yeah, obviously arena as well. Yeah, let's start and take a look. I think we should just start with GB7, uh, GB8 and see what we have here. I think I don't have to take a closer look like that. This is already looking good. At least the monster choice is good. I don't know if the Syra will take all the damage or if she's dying because you have three water monsters so the Syra is your tank. I'm not totally sure if she survives this. We can just go for a try and see if she's surviving this. I think she should be able to survive it even at level 50. But let's just try it out to be completely sure. Let's see how it works out on auto. Obviously damage is more than enough. And with that damage, the Syrah shouldn't take too much damage. Now the Arthur is full. Next turn, probably the Syrah is full. Let's see. Yeah, and the turn after that, we are already at the boss and the Mona is full. So maybe we get a defense down there. Even a one hit, this is very easy, very fast, clear. So at least the GBA team is really good. As you can see, the best run. This is totally fine. Okay, let's take a closer look if we can beat GB10. And can we do it on auto? Okay, so you are trying... Th this won't work at GB10. At that content, the uh, Syrah can't tank it anymore. Let's see... How much defense does this Victoria have? 7k might not be enough. I don't think the Victoria is able to solo tank this. Let's try out this. 5k heal. Triple HP, okay. At least there's a lot of room to improve the gems so she can get stronger. There's no... Or with the Venus, a full light lineup. Okay, she might be an option. Two Valkyries. Okay. Not jumped as well. Is there anything else that might help? Hmm. 
not that much HP. And we probably can't use the Victoria there. Uh, which is the better one? 22, nearly 6k. 22, a lot less attack. Attack, attack, attack. Okay, that's 6 crit rate. 18. Okay, 23, 33 with the natural crit rate. And that one. 6. 13. But I think this is the better one. This girl. We take her out. This one in and the dark cat in. What gems does the Water Arthur has? But I think we need the Water Arthur to be able to clear the other ways much faster. He's on a triple attack. They all don't have that much HP. I don't know if the purse can heal this team up. If we don't use the Mona, do we have a different leader skill? I don't know what can the monkey key is. Fall attack. Okay. 7k defense. I think he will be better. Does he have some crit rate? Some resistance? Some attack? Crit rate, crit damage. I think the monkey key is better than the Mona, but I want to try it like this. If they are able to clear the waves like this, only have one defense down but with the monkey key it would be the same just that he is a single target and so it's even harder to land the defense down on the boss let's first try it out like this and see how much damage we will get Two times half HP. Of course, yeah, we will take lots of damage. Yeah, they, they are far too squishy. The problem is we can't take out the purse because you have to heal against this damage. This might not be enough. We have to try a different lineup. This is far too much damage. Let's try out. I already have. Wait, what is this? Do so recovery is not a completely bad choice, in my opinion. But we are really missing one more light monster. I think both of them are not good enough. Wait, what gems does the Venus have? 46. KHP might not be enough as well. This is far too greedy. I was thinking about this lineup. Hmm. How much crit rate does Medusa have? It's crit rate based, yeah. Twenty. 
Okay, she's already fine. Over 80%. <clears throat> if we use it like that, with the blue soul recovery, I hope that we are able to get the shield up fast and be able to use the Syrah active. But this team is very, very far from a 100% run. They need to be at least all level 60 and the gems have to be better. Siren need an HP gem for sure. But we can let it run once. Wait. What are the other gems? A defense one and an HP one. I think this lineup can work, but like I said, they have to be 60, and it will be really slow. I want to test it once. <clears throat> if the damage is evenly distributed, how much damage we will take to of these Minos and two um, Mandragoras, so they will hit really hard. Not even a third. That's good. Yeah, that, this is what I said. They need to be 60 and the Siren needs an HP gem. Other than that, I think this team can work. Obviously, this shield should have been used in the next round. That's a lot of damage. But as you can see, this lineup is working much better. And these are level 50 monsters. Another interesting idea, in my opinion, would be using two Cosmos, putting out the, the um, Medusa, or even let the Medusa in, and use one Cosmo as a second healer. Obviously, it will be a bit slower, but I think the chances to be successful are a lot higher. That's obviously an annoying hit if all go for the Medusa, but she's still surviving really good. Only one left. Okay, let's. I want to see the. Come on, damn. I want to see the boss fight. Obviously, now we are missing two monsters. If we wouldn't have lost the Syra, the Medusa wouldn't have died. I just want to see how they are doing. Oh, was it a defense down? I don't think a normal hit can kill the Victoria. But, oh, lots of damage. Mm. I'm not sure. But as you could have seen, this lineup already is a lot better than the one before, so forget about glass cannons or stuff like that. I would try out a lineup that is looking like these, around these. Maybe put out the Syra for a Cosmo, like I said. They need to be 60, it's very important. The gems have to be plus 12. I've seen that some of them are not plus 12. And yeah, the gems at plus 12 are not that crazily expensive. So they should be plus 12. See this one, for example, plus six 
we could get lots of HP from this one as well. Just this a defense one. That could be good. These ones. But I think this is the best chance if you want to clear that. To use the Venus. To use the Victoria. To use the Medusa. As you have seen, the blue soul recovery really helps a lot that the SP bars are getting full. <clears throat> and the last one, in my opinion, should be a light Cosmo. It's really easy to farm them. Where do we have them? Cosmo. Where are the three stars? There. I think he would fit in there perfectly. He has the heal, crit, so he will deal some damage. And for the boss, he has the zap. So the first thing I would try out with that lineup would be the Victoria, Medusa, Cosmo and Venus. Gems has to be plus 12 and yeah, some of them should be level 60. It's normally not that expensive. So I think these should be the next ones you should try to level 60. These two obviously are good. But, yeah, they die uh, far too fast. Let's see if we have some other monster that might help there. Uh, Thor. I wouldn't use the Thor there. He deals no damage. Sea star as well. We, we need something that can deal damage. Like, I would try out a Cosmo on a crit rate attack HP build. Yeah, that's what I would try out. But yeah, you, you have to raise the quality of your monsters and gems. They have to be, like I said, plus 12 at least. It's not that expensive. And some of them should be level 60. Don't even have to be the Victoria. She survives for a very long time. But yeah, other monsters like... Obviously, Venus would be good. So you have a higher shield. The Medusa would be good, so that she's dealing a bit more damage and obviously gets more effective HP. So yeah, that's it for the GP10. How about DB7, the Dark Dragon? I think with that lineup you already have no problem killing the Fire Dragon. I think it's DB4. Just with the Monas, the Arthur, and the Purse, I think you should have no problems with clearing it. If you have problems, switch out the Purse for a Water Bath and save the active for the Dragon. And yeah, <laughs> just one hit it. GB7. The question is, can... A level 60 Victoria tank it. I think she can. You already have... Wait, how much would you have on... Wait, still 7k? Is this a mistake? This is a mistake. Where is... There. Do I have a preview of it? No. Damage. No chance to see it. What is this? So we can only see the next evolution stage. Ah. But yeah, two six. What does she have on three point? Victoria. Yeah. 
three three. Over eight K easily. Yeah, around 8k, I think. Plus, it's a life. Uh, uh, what is its name? Yeah, life set. So, the Victoria even has some more HP. She should be able to solo tank it. So, I would try to use a lineup with Victoria, Dark Cat. Dark Cat is really important there. A defense downer and a healer, in my opinion. D defense down can be, for example, I think the Bubloon or the Makiki should work, in my opinion. Obviously, you, you have to play it manually, don't auto. So you have some damage for the stages, and for the boss, you have the defense down. But let me take another look do we have something else obviously the fire nightmare could be used the cat the cat is the perfect monster there jam him really offensive give him like attack attack hp or triple attack or attack don't have the gems for a ruin set so i would go for attack attack hp or triple attack you have to try it out if he's on a triple attack if he can survive until you see the dragon <coughs> then yeah obviously you first defense down the dragon you don't focus the ads on the sides you directly go for the dragon defense down and yeah, obviously then the active of the dark cat. Um, yeah, then we have the Victoria and for the fourth slot, I would first think about the purse. It really depends on the damage of the dark cat. But I, the first monster that comes to my mind is the Purse, because she will be able to heal up the Victoria. And yeah, the other monster that I think about is the Light Venus. So you, you run double Light, that you can distribute the damage a bit from yeah the waves, the Dark Purse, that will hurt a lot. And... With double light monsters, I think you should be able to clear it. Obviously, 60 with plus 12 gems. That's just not enough for higher content. And yeah. Then you have to see how much damage is the Dark Cat dealing to the dragon. Obviously, yeah, you, he should be able to deal at least... 50% HP so that with the shield the other monsters survive and yeah maybe a woodcat active don't forget he has the single target active as well even if it's not hurting as hard as the dark cat he still has this active that is hitting quite hard so I think this lineup is working out against DB7. So Light Victoria, Dark Cat, Wood Cat, and either Water Purse or Light Venus. And then if your monsters are getting stronger, the, the whole lineup is uh, at level 60. Some of the gems are, or at, at least all have to be plus 12. Some are at plus 15. I think you can completely ignore a healer and go for another attacker, like a monster that will deal a lot of damage or has a single target active as well. So that with the defense down of the dark uh, of the woodcat, the hit of 
the Dark Cat plus another monster. Like I said, maybe uh, another single target uh, attack. I don't think the Wuchinobi will be able to deal enough damage. You have to try it out. Maybe the Dark Monkey Key. At least something that is hitting really hard on the active. And that these two monsters are able to one-hit the dragon. If the dragon is defense down. I think this is the best option for this. So yeah, Victoria, Dark Cat, Wood Cat, and either Water Purse or Light Ve uh, Venus. And when they are stronger, you switch the healer out and put in another attacker. <clears throat> so yeah, we have that. I don't think you are even close to be killing GB uh, DB10. You should completely forget about GB10. Uh, my god, DB10. Yeah, and focus on other stuff. Like I said, you can most likely get a GB10 team with not that much effort. The DB7 team is, yeah, obviously not that much effort as well i think so that's like two or three level 60 monsters obviously if i see your lineup with two 60s it looks like it's much but i don't think it is so yeah let's take a look at the arena you asked me if i can help you a bit in the arena let's first take a look at the defense team the, the first mistake that I already found is the Light Venus. As you can see, if you are getting attacked, people don't care about Light Venus. They are mostly above your level, so it will be already really hard to make a team that is able to get wins. Like, a, like you can see, for example, this one, you will not beat this lineup. The fuck is this Snow White? Yeah, yeah, it's Snow White. First, I thought this is a light sun song. <laughs> yeah, you can see the dark version here. I, re I really thought, like, what? Why does this guy have a, a light sun song? But yeah, obviously, it's Snow White. But yeah, back to topic. As you can see, it's really hard to get wins. Normally opponents have level 60 monsters that are hitting really hard. So the first thing I would do is put out this one. She will never see an active. Even if she does, your whole team is already dying. Put in the purse. You have two monsters that don't have too much HP. If one of these three is dying, the Babloon don't has that much HP as well, so the purse will heal a lot of percentage HP of these monsters. Do we have something else? Obviously there are some monsters that are really not bad in my opinion. For example, the Medusa is not bad. The Fire Nightmare is not bad. I wouldn't use these. Yeah, I wouldn't use anything else in my opinion. So I think this is a better lineup because the purse already is 60. She directly helps you. She don't need like three turns. You probably will need around three turns if you are not too lucky with the Arthur. And obviously the Arthur is on an offensive build. If the opponents understand this, he will be a one hit. So yeah, I would use this lineup. The thing is, 
do you want to use the Miho lead? I wouldn't use it. I would try to use the Victoria lead because this bit of resistance can maybe help you, but your team is not that tanky. The gems are still not plus 12, they are 50, while you are facing opponents that are level 60 with mostly level uh, plus 15 gems. So it's already really hard because you're at a hard disadvantage. And yeah, most of them are not relying on their debuffs where you need resistance. Let, let's just, for example, these guys that attacked you. This guy, probably these two could have killed you already. This is the EVO 3 purse and yeah, okay, may maybe not the Siegfried, but I think this was a close fight. But yeah, the other people, you will not have a chance. Lots of these teams are able to beat my team. So yeah, you just have to accept that you can't win every arena fight. That's the same for everyone, even if you are rank 1, rank 2 or whatever. You can't win every defensive fight. That's totally normal. Like, for example, this lineup, you will need a lot of time to beat this. Just the Snow White will most likely one hit the Victoria. The Indra will one hit everything else normally. And yeah, then he has a healer and a stunner. But look at this team, for example. He only has the, the Granitus lead plus. Yeah, his damn stun. What is this, 60%? While it's normally 100%. He always tends to hit his stun. You can have max resistance. You, I don't know, you could have 100% resistance. He would be able to stun you. No jokes aside, for, ex for some reason he's always hitting his stun. But he's the only stunner he's using. This guy has one monster that is using his shock. He has, yeah, he's a bit more defensive, uh, more debuff based. Yeah, this this one as well, double stun, but nah. Uh, yeah, I, I would use the Miho lead. On the offense, let's take a look who we could fight here. Obviously, always try to get the wins against the very weak opponents. If you have one in your list, like level 33, 32, always go for them. Don't mind <laughs> who is behind this account. It's an easy win. You get easy points. Even if it's just 5, not 8 or not 10, you get 5 points for free. And that's what you need. You can't beat every opponent yet. But we will go for an opponent that is a bit harder. I think this one will be really hard. Because you most likely rely a lot on your damage that the Dark Cat is doing, I think. And if we can't stun or shock the Thor, you already most likely lose the Dark Cat. <coughs> I think... Nah, I think this lineup is a bit too strong. How about this guy? He has some level 60s, 160, 350s. Around that that you have. It's not a strong lineup, by no means. We should easily be able to kill it. I would use this lineup. Yeah, that should really be no problem. Okay, the first thing I would focus on is the Fire Arthur. He might take a nice hit. Yeah, then we kill him. We could go have used the Water Purse as well, but yeah, we are using this. The 
Wood Baldwing will attack the purse. The purse has a lot of HP, so this is really no problem. He only has a defense down. The Arthur won't do anything in the first turn, and yeah, the Mew with the attack down isn't really a threat as well. So we will go for the Arthur. Uh, he will not even be able to get his bar full. So we just ignore him. This one is doing some nice damage. But it's a level 50. He's the 60. Let's take out the 60. And these two are going... F ah, not quiet. Let's just kill him to be safe. He will heal up. No big deal. We will not use the active yet. We will first kill. And let's see if we can stun. Yeah, we have the stun, so, so we can heal up. I would always do this. If you have a different stun, like the Medusa one, always go for this one. And if she's not able to land the stun, then you can go for the petrification. But yeah, it was an easy fight. The most important thing is to protect your Dark Cat. Like, for example, this lineup. Don't face it. It's too much light monsters for the dark cat. But for example here, here we have a free kill. Obviously we are taking it. If people are putting level 1 monsters in their defense, it's their own fault. Always be careful with those lineups. Kill one and then take a look if there comes a level 60. Obviously for a level 33 account this <laughs> will most likely not happen. But there are some bait lineups. Yeah, that was an easy win. And that's points. And that's all that we want. Let's take another look. Do we have... This one would be not too hard. He's using some monsters that don't... I have that are not that good. An offensive monster, a monster that is not dealing damage, and an offensive monster. We could probably kill the Leo and the Mona, so directly in the first turn he only has three monsters left, while one monster is not dealing any damage, so yeah. It's no problem. How about this one? You don't have a bait monster for the Sura, I think. No. If you face lineups like this, you should always try to use bait monsters. For example, if you would have a fire healer, for example, I would put out the purse use the fire healer, obviously this one needs a lot of resistance, and you completely ignore the Sura. He, he will not deal any damage. Even with the active, he's not dealing that much damage. If you are using a healer, for example, he will have lots of effective HP, so it won't hurt that much. If you do this, you have already one monster that you don't have to take care of, so we could basically directly go for the Arthur or the Leo if we have like th these two. We can probably ignore the Cupid for one, two turns. Or if you want, you can directly go for the Cupid and hope that the other monsters are not stunning you. But yeah, the biggest problem obviously is that you are always at a disadvantage. It's a full 60 lineup, full Evo 3. Most likely plus 15 gems or at least plus 12 gems completely. So, just stat wise, you're already on a huge disadvantage. Makes it really hard to face these opponents. This is a full 60 lineup, and I think we could win this. Let's try it out. We are using exactly this lineup. Okay, what 
do we want to kill here? I think the most important ones are the Arthur and the Sura. Both are really annoying. We have this is the attacker, and yeah, he, he most likely has a crit rate gem, so his HP won't be that much as well. Plus, he's level 50 and only Evo 2. So I would go with the dark hit against him. Maybe it's a one hit. Okay, no crit. That's <laughs> obviously not what we wanted to see. Uh, why do people go for this one? And then he resisted. Fuck you. Wait, what is this? Normally he should one hit. A... Yeah, but never do a dark seedler hidden. Don't know how often I have to say this. As you could have seen, he has done like 30% HP. We already healed partly, and it's like a 4 v uh, 4 versus 4. So yeah, we will kill him like this. Now we will kill the Mona. Yeah, and he already lost. Obviously, this is the same. You can beat this lineup easily. You can beat this lineup easily. This lineup easily. Here, th this is. If we are a bit unlucky, this is an annoying lineup because he has two stunners, a shocker, and a monster that is dealing damage. So we would have four threats directly because we have no resistance. You can probably kill two of them. The cat can maybe one hit the Yuki. And yeah, you can stun one. And that's probably it. So this would be a bit harder. But these two lineups deal zero damage. Then there's no threat. You directly kill the Seedler. Whatever comes, if it's a really annoying monster, you can still try to stun it. Yeah, and just ignore the other ones. Even this lineup is not hard. With the Evo 3 purse. We, we can just try to face this. We're just using exactly the same monsters. <clears throat> okay, since we have a more offensive lineup, in my opinion, we shouldn't care too much about the Water Nightmare. The first and most important monster that has to die is the Light Seedler. We don't want our Dark Cat to take damage. He has to take care of the Water Purse. Let's go like this. Again, no crit. What the fuck? Yeah, that's obviously not how it should look. Now we are getting problems because the purse will always heal this lineup while our purse obviously is not as strong. Maybe we can kill. Uh, 60 Jun, really hard to kill. Now we take the, another defense down. A seal. We lost this. How much is the crit rate on Dark Kid? I want to face this guy again, because I think it's not a hard opponent. That's 6, 20, 84, 85. And we... Uh, annoying. Yeah, but sometimes stuff like that happens. I want to do the exact same thing. My god. 
again, no. Crit. Three times in a row, no crit. No die. Finally. We have to stun him. Obviously, he resisted. Hmm. It's really annoying. Yeah, but that should basically be your strategy. Try to protect your dark cat. You can always, if you shouldn't do random fights that are too strong. And if you see the opponents, you can always adjust your team a bit. Like I said, always try to use some bait monsters. Best possible scenario would be a bait monster for a debuffer with a lot of resistance, for example. <coughs> if you are using a fire monster with a lot of resistance in this lineup, so you can directly ignore the water Odin or let's say a wood Leo, some wood monster with a lot of resistance, then you can ignore to fire Arthur because they are not dealing much damage. They rely completely on their debuff. So if you can, let's say, use a wood monster, then you can ignore the fire Arthur. So you have only three targets. If you kill the Mona, he already lost most of his damage. Then he only has two monsters. Maybe, for example, the Dark Cat can one hit this one. She's an attacker, I think. Come on, uh, you can't see it, but I think sh she's an attacker, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, let's see. How about clan fights? What opponents do we have here? Wait, no one has done CVC, what's going on? Guys, do your CVC and kill them. Uh, this would be, for example, an easy fight. Okay, these opponents are not worth it. You have a lot of low-level targets. If they would be like all level 40, level 50, it would be a lot harder to bring a lot of uh, enough monsters to kill three or well, three of those lineups. But with some lower-level mon uh, player, like for example this one. It's free. You can use one monster and kill the, the Fibian, and you can already save some monsters like this, for example. But yeah, the CPC should be much easier. But yeah, try to use in general the same strategy like I said before. Either go for a direct kill, like what else? Let's use this one. First lineup. He has two stunners. The Jun is annoying. And the Sura is annoying. I wouldn't mind these two. If you use a fire monster, let's say for whatever reason this one, the Wild Fang. Even if she has not enough resistance, it's still two monsters that are trying, but that are completely reliant on their stuns. So you already take out two monsters, even if you have no resistance, you take two monsters out that are attacking one of your monsters. Maybe in this scenario, not the Wild Fang, but something that is more tankier. For example, this one. If he would have gems. <laughs> but yeah, I think you get what I mean. You can bait two monsters into one monster. And yeah, you already gain a big advantage even if you take those stuns it's still three versus two you just ignore these two and kill the other ones just for example and yeah at the end you kill the other ones and you should already have one yeah i think that's in in general i hope this helped you a bit and yeah Good luck to you, Mark, and I wish everyone else a nice day. See you.